A $1.6 billion upgrade is underway to save the East River Tunnel, a vital link in the Northeast Corridor which was severely damaged by Hurricane Sandy. This century-old tunnel is undergoing the most extensive rehabilitation in Amtrak's history, transforming it from a deteriorated, storm-damaged corridor into a symbol of modernized infrastructure. With hundreds of workers operating around the clock, the project aims to ensure safe, reliable train service for decades. As the overhaul progresses, riders can expect major benefits, but the question remains, can Amtrak complete this massive project without disrupting the busiest rail line in the country? Let's find out in today's episode of Great Train Speed. The East River Tunnel is undergoing a monumental rehabilitation, marking one of the most significant infrastructure projects in the Northeast. Originally opened in 1910, the tunnel has served as a vital link between Manhattan, Queens, and New Jersey, handling an average of 300,000 passengers daily before the pandemic. However, years of wear and the damage caused by Superstorm Sandy in 2012 left the tunnel in dire need of repairs. As a result, Amtrak, along with federal and state authorities, launched the most extensive rehabilitation in the tunnel's history, aimed at modernizing the system, addressing flood damage, and extending its lifespan by at least 100 years. This rehabilitation project, which is one of the largest infrastructure investments in recent years, focuses on addressing both the physical deterioration caused by years of use and the long-term impact of the saltwater flooding from Hurricane Sandy. The tunnel is part of the Northeast Corridor, NEC, one of the busiest rail corridors in the country, contributing nearly 20% of the U.S. GDP. This makes the East River Tunnel not only a local necessity, but also a national asset. How will the East River Tunnel's rehabilitation impact commuters in the long run? Do you think the improvements are worth the time and cost? Let's explore this further in the next part of the journey. If you find this topic interesting, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an update on all things related to trains on our channel. The first and most visible step in this process is the reconstruction of Tunnel 2, which is currently closed for the overhaul. Crews have already demolished the old, salt-damaged concrete bench walls, replacing them with new, high-strength concrete walls designed to handle the demands of modern rail systems. This upgrade goes beyond aesthetics. These walls house a new state-of-the-art utility network with fiber optic and electrical lines built to 21st century standards. This transformation not only ensures stability for today, but also prepares the tunnel for future advancements. The process is extensive. Tunnel 2 was the first to be completely shut down for reconstruction in May 2025. The demolition of the old structure uncovered a severe state of disrepair, particularly with the electrical and signal systems that were extensively damaged by saltwater infiltration. Thousands of meters of corroded cables were removed and replaced with new fiber optic and electrical lines that will provide the tunnel with modernized communication and signal systems, ensuring the tunnel's functionality for years to come. But that's not all. The traditional ballast stones that once lined the tunnel floor are gone, replaced by a continuous concrete track slab. This innovation reduces vibrations, improves the quality of the ride, and increases the ability to handle higher speed trains. The old ballast system, prone to shifting and erosion, was a major cause of maintenance headaches. The new concrete foundation is much more stable and built to last. Perhaps most importantly, safety features are receiving a complete overhaul. The track side walls are being lowered, which addresses a critical evacuation concern. Previously, passengers would have had to climb over high ledges to exit during an emergency. Now, passengers will be able to step directly from the train to the emergency walkway, significantly improving evacuation times. 
In addition, safety systems are being integrated throughout the tunnel with state-of-the-art fire-resistant materials and emergency lighting being installed to meet the latest safety codes. In addition, the entire tunnel is being upgraded to meet the highest fire protection standards. New smoke sensors, emergency ventilation systems, and redundant lighting will ensure the tunnel can operate safely, even under the most extreme conditions. The tunnel's resistance to salt water, a key issue uncovered after Sandy, is also being strengthened with advanced waterproofing and drainage systems to prevent future flooding. This comprehensive approach to fire safety and salt water resistance makes the East River Tunnel an essential part of New York's disaster resilience strategy. But that's just the bright side of the story. Like any major train project in the U.S., this one comes with its own set of challenges. And trust me, it's not all smooth sailing. While the upgrades are impressive, the project has not been without its challenges. The sheer complexity of working underground in an active, high-density rail corridor has required meticulous planning and coordination. One of the most significant hurdles faced early in the project was the decision to shut down Tunnel 2 for the overhaul. This was not a decision taken lightly. Before the full closure, crews had to continuously reinstall and remove temporary utility lines and tracks to keep the system running limiting construction time to narrow weekend windows. The logistics of shutting down a vital tunnel that serves hundreds of thousands of passengers daily is an unprecedented challenge. The only way to truly make meaningful progress was to fully close Tunnel 2, and it was this decision that laid the foundation for the modernized East River Tunnel we're now building. With the tunnel closed, crews have been able to work in a more controlled environment, making extensive progress on the track and systems upgrades. This has not been a simple task. Working 30 meters below ground in tight, confined spaces with hundreds of workers rotating through round-the-clock shifts has placed enormous pressure on safety protocols. There are inherent risks involved in such an extensive underground project, and Amtrak has been committed to ensuring the safety of its workforce. Despite the logistical and safety challenges, the project has remained on schedule, and progress is evident at every phase. One notable difficulty was the LIRR service disruption in September 2025, triggered by an issue inside the tunnel. This incident highlighted the risks of relying on only three tunnels while work on Tunnel 2 continues. Even small disruptions can quickly escalate into system-wide issues when the remaining capacity is stretched thin. However, with 24-7 staffing and improved operational procedures, Amtrak and its partners have managed to minimize service disruptions and maintain high on-time performance, a testament to the careful planning that has gone into this project. Would you agree that the logistical challenges faced in this project are necessary for long-term improvements? Drop one if you say yes, and zero for no when you do. As of December 2025, the first tube of the East River Tunnel rehabilitation is already halfway through its transformation. Phase one began in May 2025 with the complete demolition of the old bench walls and the removal of corroded utilities. Crews are now in the reconstruction phase with significant progress made in upgrading tracks and installing modern systems. Amtrak is on track to finish Tunnel 2 by July 2026, followed by a brief pause to synchronize the new signaling systems with the remaining tunnels. After that, Tunnel 3 will undergo its own 13-month reconstruction process. By the time the project is completed in late 2027, all four tunnels will be fully operational, modernized, and able to support 150 to 450 trains per day, depending on the tunnel. This will significantly reduce the risk of system-wide paralysis and ensure the tunnel is prepared for future demands. The revitalized tunnel will contribute to regional economic stability, enhancing the connectivity between New York, New Jersey, and Long Island. 
The new tunnel will improve service reliability, reducing the number of delays that passengers experience. As one of the most important rail links in the country, the rehabilitation will also contribute to the overall economic stability of the Northeast Corridor, which is crucial for both passengers and the regional economy. The $1.6 billion rehabilitation of the East River Tunnel is much more than just a repair job. It's an investment in the future of New York's transportation network. As the tunnel reopens and fully integrates with the larger Northeast Corridor, it will provide a faster, safer, and more reliable rail service for millions of daily commuters. This is an infrastructure project that extends far beyond the construction site. It will impact on the economy, the environment, and the daily lives of people in one of the most important urban centers in the world. Ultimately, this project represents a monumental leap forward in modernizing America's rail infrastructure, helping to build the future of mobility for the Northeast. With a timeline that holds firm and a commitment to quality, the rehabilitation of the East River Tunnel is proof that infrastructure renewal can drive the next generation of transit solutions that will endure for the next 100 years. And that's all for today's journey. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. See you on the next adventure.